welcome back to the second part of my winter habit video in which I'll be sharing all the things that have been making me feel so good in winter time. I've honestly been having the best months and that is thanks to a couple of the things that I'll be sharing in today's video and also thanks to a couple of the things that I already shared in my previous winter habit video. So I'll link that one down below for you guys in the comments so you can check it out right now or check it out after this video honestly the order of watching these videos doesn't really matter anyways i thought i would start off this video with my hot cocoa recipe because i've honestly been having like a cup of hot chocolate almost every day and i make like a healthy hot chocolate in the sense that i don't use like a nesquik powder i like to use raw cacao i love making it this way because cacao is actually superfood i think a lot of people don't know that about cacao but it actually contains a lot of vitamins and minerals and if you drink cacao in a highly processed form a lot of these get destroyed so that's why i love making it this way so i still get the health benefits but also get like a delicious cup of hot chocolate all you need is some milk of your choice some cacao powder and a sweetener the rest is honestly optional i'm just really picky with my drinks and i just love it when stuff tastes amazing and not just good so that's why i take some extra steps but i'm going to share them with you in case you want to do that as well so i'm going to use one tablespoon of the cacao powder and i'm going to put it through a sifter you know how you sometimes get clumps of cacao powder we don't want that and the sifter is going to help avoid it so i just do one tablespoon through the sifter into my cup and then i'm going to pour a little bit of hot water inside just so that the cacao powder is going to mix with my sweetener today i'm going to be using um, date syrup i usually always go for a natural sweetener so if i'm like using this i'll go for agave maple syrup or some honey for example and i usually do about a teaspoon i'm craving something sweet so i'm gonna add a little bit more lately i've also been adding a little bit of cayenne pepper this is totally optional but cayenne has like some extra benefits and i like the spicy twist of it so that's why i've been adding it but you definitely don't need to do this step if you don't want to so that's kind of the base and then i have this little trill like this small trill that i use and i just mix everything up in my cup and i'm going to steam the milk right now and that's the last step it's so easy guys okay my milk is foamed I'm going to add a little bit of cinnamon on top, also an additional thing that I like to do, but obviously you can skip all these extras. I absolutely love hot chocolate, it tastes so good. Also the added cayenne is such a nice touch. So if you have been making your cacao with like an Nesquik powder, I really recommend you to switch to using normal cacao. I promise you it's not going to take away from the taste and you just get the added benefits. Cacao is a superfood, it's also anti-inflammatory, high in antioxidants, it's high in magnesium and it can also boost your serotonin which like we all need in winter let's be honest. That's why I love having this and to me it's honestly just like a little dessert. Mm, I need to get comfortable because I wanted to talk about another habit of mine which I think is probably the biggest contributor to why I feel so fulfilled this winter and feel so happy and so at peace and that is that I've been self-isolating and I don't mean an extreme form of self-isolation like I still am seeing my friends, I'm still seeing my family obviously I still live with them <laughs> but I've just really been prioritizing my alone time and I've been reducing the frequency and the length of my hangouts with other people because I really felt like I needed that. At the beginning of January, I made a promise to myself that this month is going to be the month in which I will really prioritize myself and focus on myself. And now looking back, I'm so, so grateful that I did that. The amount of growth, the amount of peace, the amount of joy, the amount of gratitude I've experienced this month is insane. And I really think that it's thanks to the fact that I had so much time to be with myself, to sit with my thoughts, to think about all the blessings in my life because I wasn't constantly distracted and wasn't constantly on the go and that's why I feel like I'm so much more connected with myself and I'm just really happy that I did this. So if you also are a person who thrives off of being alone or who's always wanted to try prioritizing like solitude then i really really encourage you to do it and i think that the winter time especially is the best time to do it because everyone already is a bit less social i would say so i think that it's going to be the easiest for yourself to stick to it in winter because i know that in summer i would probably not be able to pull through with this because 
you know friends will be calling and the sun will be shining and I just want to be outside all the time so that's why I'm super happy that I did it this winter because I just genuinely feel so blessed like the other day I literally got emotional thinking about all my blessings in life I almost cried because I was so happy and felt so grateful and I realized that the lifestyle that I have right now is and in general like my life is something that I used to dream of like things I would put on my vision board I'm experiencing now in real life and it's just I don't know it's just so cool to look back and I think that it's also so important to take a step back and to be grateful for your life because your blessings just shouldn't be taken for granted at the end of the day and yeah that's just something that i wanted to share i'm already going off on a tangent again but the main message i'm trying to convey is that if you've been thinking about like a form of healthy self-isolation or if you feel the need to spend more time in solitude i can really really recommend it and if you decide to do it i really recommend you to then fill up your time with things that you really enjoy and not just like watch a bunch of series and scroll on your phone all day that's definitely not the point of a self-isolation phase if that makes sense um but yeah just wanted to share that have fun watching the rest of the video good morning i'm currently on a little morning walk because i've been trying to go out on a daily basis in winter time you don't get enough vitamin d in amsterdam and i also just become such a homebody so i'm trying to like push myself to go out at least once a day for about like 30 minutes sometimes i'll go out midday for sunset today i did a morning walk it doesn't really matter as long as i'm just outside but today i got blessed because the sun is shining it's like such a beautiful winter day here in amsterdam i'm genuinely so happy so i drive through the night see your house from the highway way up high things are so different now i suppose i should get used to letting go of all i know about your soul so i push on through going through the motions nowhere close to your devotion feel so far but couldn't be standing closer cause i could write an entire record about you first of February today look at that and that means it's a reset day if you've been around on my channel for a while you know that I love monthly resets I've shared my monthly reset routine um, on my youtube channel before so I'll link that down below for you guys if you want to check it out and I love doing this because it gives me like a fresh start for the next month and I just feel such a shift in my energy my mood and my productivity when like my room is clean i spend much more time indoors in winter than in summertime so that's why i really try to prioritize keeping my room clean and keeping it organized so that my environment is something that inspires me and motivates me so today i'm going to be really taking my time with cleaning but usually on busy days i just take like five to ten minutes in the evening to kind of put away anything that's laying around in my room so that I always wake up with like an organized room and on Sundays I usually do like a proper clean in my room. So yeah, just wanted to share that. <laughs> I think that I'm gonna start with my bed because that's like the worst task in my opinion. I don't hate taking off my sheets but I hate putting on my sheets. It's like the worst thing ever. But we gotta do it. Ryan Little. <laughs>
right, it is a lot later. I took a shower, finished my room earlier on, and now I put on fresh PJs. I'm gonna go into my bed with new sheets in a clean and organized room. Honestly, there's no better feeling. <laughs> Anyways, um, I think that I'm just gonna read. I'm kind of in the mood to just read a fiction book and just relax in bed, and maybe I'll also just journal a bit and write my monthly journal reflection. Um, but yeah, I'm just super excited. And one thing that I wanted to talk about before I end of today is this hand cream. Because of all the cleaning and also because of like the cold in the winter, my hands get a lot drier than they usually do. I usually have like really soft hands and don't need to do anything. And my nails are usually also super strong. Always around this time in winter, my hands just need a little extra love and care. So I absolutely love the Veleda hand creams. I always use them. I've gone through so many tubes of them. If you struggle with dry hands, I really believe that this is like the best hand cream out there. If my hands are really dry, I just do it for a couple of days and then I just don't need to use it anymore. I hate it when products fix your problem, but only if you continue to use them. And I love it when you only need to use a product for like a limited amount of time to fix the problem, then you just don't have to use it again. You know what I mean? Like this is really what this hand cream does. I have the green one right now. This one is like a very um, oily one and a very thick and rich cream. Because my hands were so dry, the one I usually use is an orange one actually. I just needed like intense hydration this past week, that's why I just bought that one. But this is the one I usually use, it's completely like folded up. Let me try and see if I can show you guys. This is the one I usually use, so it's the orange one. And this is an express hand cream, so it's like really fast absorbing and it's the sand Dorn fragrance. And this one is citrus but honestly all of these are amazing you just have to kind of check what your hands need and it also says on the packaging what it's good for because this is like a hand and nail cream that's why i bought this one that's the last thing i wanted to say i'm gonna go to bed and i'll catch up with you guys tomorrow morning just finished my yoga flow and I wanted to talk about this because this is a habit that I've kind of unintentionally developed this winter. I got a new yoga mat for Christmas from my mom and it's like a really good quality yoga mat and that motivated me so much to do like yoga every day. The thing I love about yoga is that whilst I'm doing it I also feel really good whereas like some workouts are more of like a you feel good afterwards but during you might not feel your best if that makes sense because i noticed those benefits i was like wait why don't i just try doing yoga every day so that's what i've been doing and i've been loving it and the key to succeeding with this was really that i was very graceful with myself i didn't say that i need to do like a 30 minute yoga flow every day all i had to do is like show up and whether that's in the morning afternoon or evening i literally don't care as long as i just practice yoga on a daily basis i'm happy and that has been so helpful to actually make this like a realistic habit. On some days I might not feel like it and I do like a five minute flow and then I suddenly feel this motivation to continue and then I'll add in another flow. So it really is just up to how I feel that day. But yoga is definitely something that just makes me feel so good. And especially when I do it in the beginning of the day, I notice that it has a very big impact on the way my day goes. Another winter habit of mine that I've been loving is to cook and bake more. I've been experimenting so much with new recipes lately because I just have more time in my day since I am spending more time at home. 
and honestly it's such a rewarding experience like i love the fact that you're literally preparing something for yourself that you can later on indulge in there's just so much anticipation in the cooking process leading to the reward in the end which is like a delicious meal or a delicious dessert when you're baking and i think that it's a very nice activity to do it honestly makes me so happy when i made something that just tastes good and today i also made a really exciting dish i tried to create a salmon damburi one that's similar to the one that i've tried in a restaurant before my family and i used to go to this japanese restaurant here in amsterdam um, for a really long time but unfortunately they closed like a couple of years ago and ever since they closed i've always wanted to try to recreate my favorite dish of theirs and today was finally the day on which I dare to do it and had the time and I'm super happy with how it turned out. The salmon was a bit of a challenge to be honest because it was my first time making salmon but honestly it turned out so delicious so I really recommend you guys to try out this recipe as well. I am about to head out to go on a little walk but before I do I wanted to talk about winter clothes really quickly because I do think that these are also like a really important part of winter and something that can either make or break your winter in my opinion so i just wanted to share like some of the clothing pieces that are like must-haves in my winter closet in order to feel warm because i definitely notice a huge difference in how like tense my body feels like on days when i'm wearing a good winter outfit that keeps me warm i feel so cozy and i feel so good when i'm outside whoa my voice is cracking um and on days when i'm wearing maybe just like a cotton sweater and leggings and cotton socks i feel a lot more cold and then i'll just like walk around tents outside which is not the best so my four must-have pieces i would say are first of all woolen and cashmere sweaters i know that these are more expensive than a cotton sweater but i think that they're so worth the investment i'm wearing a cashmere sweater right now i got this one from my sister for christmas like a couple years ago and you guys i wear this sweater like almost on a daily basis it's genuinely one of my favorite pieces in my closet it's so soft it keeps me so warm it's super lightweight and i just love throwing this on and you don't even need that many and you also don't need to wash wool as often which is great you can just air them out so i really am a big fan of wool second thing is um woolen socks i'm wearing some right now i usually wear these when i'm wearing my uggs because like they don't look so good with sneakers but i'm wearing some like old woolen socks that my great grandma actually knitted wool was such good quality back then because how are these like still in such a good condition i am genuinely shocked but whenever i'm wearing my uggs or whenever i'm just lounging around the house i always have some woolen socks on and i notice that when my feet are warm i feel so much warmer like my feet and my neck needs to be warm in order to feel warm and that's why the third thing is a scarf you won't catch me in winter without a scarf unless i'm wearing maybe a turtleneck or i'm wearing like my puffer jacket that goes up to here i am always wearing a scarf this is my favorite one it's the only one i have right now my sister stole my other good scarf but this is also a woolen scarf and it just keeps me so warm i think that when your neck is like protected I don't know it just you just feel so much warmer especially when it's windy and in amsterdam it gets pretty windy and then the last most important thing is your winter jacket the two most important things with your winter jacket in my opinion are that it looks good and that it's a warm jacket because let's be honest at the end of the day your winter jacket is kind of like your whole outfit in winter time i wouldn't buy a jacket that you don't really like because then your whole outfit is kind of downgraded but also it's really important that your jacket is just a warm jacket i love my puffer jacket it's a down jacket let me show you guys you have probably seen it like a bunch of times in my videos because i wear this jacket almost on a daily basis. I always switch out between this puffer jacket and then this coat that you see hanging over here, which is a woolen coat, so that one's also quite warm. But nothing beats a puffer jacket in my opinion. <laughs> so, I love this one. It's a down puffer jacket. I would recommend you to get a down one and not like a polyester or synthetic one because first of all, down is also super lightweight. Like this jacket weighs nothing and it also keeps you so warm, so. I love this. Honestly, like this already would keep me really warm, but I usually also just wear my scarf with it. Mm -hmm. And this is my go-to winter look, I would say. So yeah, that is the winter look. And that was also the last habit I wanted to share. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that it was a little bit helpful. There's only like 
one and a half months of winter left, something like that. I'm not 100% sure, but let's just make sure that we're gonna make the best out of these last winter months so that we'll feel ready and recharged when spring and summer will start. <laughs> I wanted to end up the vlog earlier on, but I just had to quickly show you guys the sunset that I just stumbled across. It's so pretty. I kept, my camera can't capture it properly, but it's so gorgeous in real life.